Milwaukee Public Schools is facing some tough choices for next year. It needs to cut $33 million out of the budget and over 680 people could lose their jobs. But there is one program that will be expanding, after school dinner. And then of course we have the whole business of breakfast versus dinners. My goodness, dinners. Most of the money for the program comes from a federal grant, part of the same USDA program that funds school breakfast. If students are hungry when they start their day, they have a very difficult time concentrating in the classroom. They frequently complain of headaches and stomach aches and tension problems. We know that behavioral interactions are on the rise, and we know that they're not focused on schoolwork because they're concerned with where they're going to find their next meal. And many of those students go home at night to homes that don't have food for them, that are still wondering where that next meal is going to come from. MPS first tried the dinner program three years ago at four different locations. Next year, it will be offered at all 53 community learning centers at a cost of about half a million dollars. The district says between lunch receipts and federal grants, school nutrition is almost self-sustaining. But even as a separate entity within MPS, some in the community do not feel it is the role of schools to provide dinner. Is that how far we've gone? Have we accepted the responsibility for lunch and breakfast and dinners? The district says with some students at school from 6.30 in the morning to 7.30 in the evening, it makes sense. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.